25.50 put, 6.22 weekly 25.50 put, was marked down 15.22 handles. Look at that, close is 43, the high was 37, and that means that this got marked down on a weekly level and did it big time. 6.17.2012, if we get a gap up on Monday on 6.18.2012, we're going to mark these prices down to the all-time lows because right now on that weekly level, you can see that the high was 43.22. They marked them to $28. I will be giving alarms out should we go up as we have clearly stated in our other call and put structures as what side of the market's deflated based on the upper end of the resistance in the index one NASDAQ 100 index here? That's what this is. It's a daily chart. So I will set the prices below the floor. And Rick Gulley, I will even do more prices, but I'll start these prices and I'll do the rest of them off the video. But let's say on the 2550 put, which is this one right here now, and we've already did pricing on these. Okay, so we know that the put side of the market with the put side is going to be wholesale because the upper end of the NASDAQ 100 will have strong resistance levels when these prices are marked down will have relatively safe entries because nobody is lower than we are on the street. So start some 14.70 falls too. that's going to be your lower end of the market for now and I'll give out other alerts above that once again mastering the wholesale entry deflated put side based on the NASDAQ going up higher and hitting the resistance side once again it's the same story it's the Ben Bernanke QE3 coming into play two-day FOMC meeting starting tomorrow they're going to be doing that you got worldwide bankers you got Greece right now it's a monumental day for them folks over there in their elections and then you have the worldwide central bankers doing what putting that massive liquidity kind of like they did in the tarp here in the USA remember that well who cares we're going to make markets based on the deflated price at the upper end of the resistance levels in this NASDAQ 100. And we clearly can see right up here that we could gap up on news to 2600. Summer rallies usually start in summer, which is toward the end of June. However, I'm instructing all MMTs that part of that rally is already in play, no matter what and that the price volatility in both directions the upper end of these resistance levels are going to be strong and that seasonality once again seasonality in the July quarter that's starting July of 2012 uh, publicly traded equities are gonna have lower growth and we said it six months ago so outside of all the volatility in the headlines and the austerity packages and TARP packages and QE3 packages and everything running rampant around the world is how do you make big money out of it? Well, we do it all the time. So when we got the bottom side here to that call side, once again, we're going to come up here and we're going to price the 2550 put below the market and we will have the call side done then we'll do the Apple then we'll do the Google then we'll have our price lines ready we'll have the bigger cap beta like the Amazons and stocks that are only going to go up though if they gap up they're going to go up to their resistance levels too individually and they're going to have problems at those upper resistance levels within this last bottom low that we called and basically the NASDAQ 100 is already up over a hundred and some about 120 handles off of the lows that we called for and we tested them and we showed them and we showed where they came from and what the support levels were in that NASDAQ 100 and that NASDAQ 100 is popping at 2571 so this 2550 put I'll give the other prices out to our index option market makers not only that people who actually have the room seat will also get their prices on our option exchange model that SMF has on a daily level.